let's do this. <laughs> Hello, people. Another beautiful day or night. Yep. Hope your five senses work, health and strength is good. Or excellent. What? <laughs> Listen to this. <clears throat> remember, remember, remember I explained to you weeks ago about this Activision, Microsoft Activision court case. When I told you guys, um, that Microsoft, instead of, the judge was like, okay, when I'll give you the illustration of like, oh, when the, the CMA, the uh, European Commission is like, okay, okay, Microsoft, you, okay, you, you bought Acti you, you bought Activision Blizzard for 60, 68.7 billion. Okay, show us something. So Microsoft, instead of Microsoft sitting around waiting, they start giving out 10 year contracts, right? <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> Says your former FTC chair explained why Microsoft prevailed in anti in the Activision merger case. Stuff that I already brought up. They they're learning from me. But anyway, says your uh, <laughs> former former acting FTC chair William uh, uh, Co Co Kovacic explained why the Federal Trade Commission lost its pre preliminary injunction hearing in the Activision merger case. They really lost this case when they removed Nintendo from the whole equation. That was correct, which was which was crazy. But anyway, it says here, former FTC chair and current law professor William Kovacic comment on how Microsoft successfully won a federal judge and defeat the Federal Trade Commission in the Activision merger case. It says here, two days ago, federal judge Jacqueline Scott Corley denied the FTC a preliminary injunction order that the commission sought to stall the 60.7 billion Microsoft Activision. Deal. The FTC has, has appealed Judge Corley order, and pending the appeal, Microsoft Activision may combine as early as this weekend. How was Microsoft able to win over Judge Corley? Simple. Number one, they had 98% of the shareholders. That's one. Number two, they had the employees behind it. You had 75% of the public. You had four countries, remember? Serbia, Saudi Arabia, Chile, and Brazil. And then other countries joined, right? But then Microsoft was given our 10 year contracts. But anyway, says here out in a recent interview with Bloomberg Technology former FTC Chair William Kovacic gave the key insight into how Microsoft's willingness to make concession could have made concession, meaning that. They gave our 10 year contracts. But anyway, make concession could have persuaded the judge. Microsoft had signed multiple 10 year licensing agreement with major competitors across cloud and console market in an effort to alleviate anti competitive concerns. This combined with ineffective evidence from the FTC helped. Ineffective, ineffective evidence. Meaning. That when they started the whole thing, they try to base this on a high performance console market. And they try to remove Nintendo, treat Nintendo like the middleman, act like they, they're they not a factor, but they are. And, they, and that was a huge mistake. But anyway, says here, uh, <laughs> combined with the effective evidence from the FTC helped secure Microsoft uh, win. Says here, the FTC has taken swing base on theories that are a bit edgy. That involves using theory about vertic vertical acquisitions such as Microsoft Activision. They're having a hard time in court. Like I said before, they weren't prepared. <laughs> Says here, in short, they're having a difficult time expanding the frontier of enforcement to include theories that have been de-emphasized in the past. <laughs> this is going to give the tech community confidence that with certain types of transaction especially if they're willing to offer concessions, which the parties did here, that they have a fighting chance when they go to court. Preparation. Anyway, says here, when asked if the commission should be buoyed by essentially pushing Microsoft to change its behavior and make these agreements, Kovic said, if I were the FTC, I'd be claiming credit for the changes. I would say that if I hadn't been watching, if I hadn't intervened, the concessions would have, would have not been given so directly and clearly. 
<laughs> Kovic also went on to comment further on the power of concession in antitrust litigations. See, remember, remember when I said, okay, instead of us sitting around here waiting for a decision to be made, let's start giving out 10-year contracts. So they gave 10-year contracts to who? NVIDIA, Nintendo, Enware, EE, Ubitus, Boosteroid. That all came from me, remember? Anyway, <laughs> says here, <laughs> it says here, I'm, I'm sitting here playing though. It says here, uh, says, if parties were think, if parties were thinking very clearly and honestly at the beginning of the process about what the vulnerabilities will be, where the regulators are mostly likely to intervene and proceed to come up with solutions to address those, these pros prospects of success improvement dramatically. In short, what parties are having success with is coming to court and saying, we, we can see that there might be competitive problems, but we have a solution. And just because the authority are not willing to embrace them doesn't mean that you, judge, shouldn't endorse them. That strategy has been effective. And that is that. Let's see if I miss anything here. Uh, that's it. So basically, when Microsoft... When, uh, when the CMA and the U uh, European Commission and the CMA, you know, um, uh, was trying to come up with, a, was trying to make a decision, Microsoft is like, okay, ins instead of us sitting around here waiting for a decision to be made, let's start giving out 10-year contracts all over the place. That's what they did. But then you had other countries like China, Japan, Korea, <laughs> Mexico, uh, Ukraine, South Africa, they all joined, plus another 30 plus countries, so, um, Microsoft, uh, uh, they, they, um, they were right for giving out those 10-year contracts, and they, they see, see it all the way through, they, a uh, matter of fact, Activision, um, they were, uh, prepared to, to fight the FTC over this, so, they were prepared, man. Remember in the beginning, I said if those 98% of the shareholders, if, the, if that 98% of the shareholders didn't agree to the deal, then I don't know if Microsoft would have been able to get Activision Blizzard, but that the shareholders, the employees, the public, and those countries played a huge role. But then on top of that, you were sitting here giving out 10-year contracts all over the place. So, yeah. And I told you it was going to be tough for the... Um, for for them to make a decision, you know, <laughs> and it worked, so yeah, um, the FTC just wasn't prepared, you know, they were relying on, um, they were relying on a uh, uh, past history, you know, and thinking that was going to work in today's time, in today's time, uh-uh, can't dwell off the past, you know, <laughs> so yeah, um, Microsoft came up with a new strategy, and it worked, and Judge uh, Scott Corley, <laughs> Jacqueline, Jacqueline uh, Scott Corley, yeah, she um, she asked questions in the courtroom, you know, to the to the FTC, and you know the CM the CMA had to sit there and watch their buddy the FTC take a loss, you know. FTC wasn't prepared, you know. They were more focused on the 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 Call of Duty and the and the deal, but they forgot about the other games that make up Activision Blizzard, like, they're not a factor. <laughs> yeah, they weren't prepared, so, yeah, they, uh, they, uh, they, they lost on this one, you know. Yeah, <clears throat> and you can't, you can't remove Nintendo because they are competitors, and they did, and they did make $60 billion off the Switch, <laughs> Nintendo, that is, <laughs> so, yeah, they are a competitor. They like to dump. They like to downplay like they're not competing, but they are. <laughs> so yeah, um, the FTC messed up big on this one, you know. So yeah, um, they they couldn't um, they couldn't prov provide um, any solid, uh, concrete evidence, you know. They were trying to rely on past history, you know, like most people were trying to like <laughs> like most people were trying to do. They were trying to bring up the old Windows 90, was it 95, 98 situation with Microsoft and thinking that was going to work in today's time. Uh-uh. <laughs> Microsoft countered that by like, okay, we're not going to sit, we're not going to sit around and just wait on you guys to make a decision. We got we, we got work to do here. We're going to give our 10-year contracts. 
We're not trying. <laughs> we're not gonna keep Game Pass to ourselves. We're gonna spread the wealth. Okay, ten years, ten years, ten years, ten years, ten years, ten years. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> uh, FTC, <clears throat> gotta ch gotta 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 change your ways, you know. So yeah, a lot of businesses now, like the article said, they're gonna be looking at how Microsoft uh, beat the FTC, and they're gonna use that strategy now. So the FTC now, they're gonna have to um, they're gonna have to uh, come come prepared to court next time, you know. <laughs> yeah, and again, no disrespects to the SP to the FTC or no disrespect to the CMA or the European Commission, you know, but um, that courtroom is about preparation, you know. <laughs> so yeah, um, <laughs> like my like my teacher used to tell me, ninety five five, you know, <laughs> ninety five percent preparation, five percent execution. So yeah, preparation. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> um, uh, um, this 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 was a this was a learning um. This was a learning experience, you know, for for a lot of people that practice law. This is a learning experience for a lot of people that practice law now. The rules have changed, you know, so they can't re they can't rely on old uh, old <laughs> old rules and then thinking it's gonna apply in in 2023 going forward. Nah, gotta come prepared to court, you know. So yeah, but you know Perry Mason and Matlock raised me. I I'm joking though. <laughs> I'm sitting here playing. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, Microsoft, you know, they came prepared, man. And Phil Spencer dropped a dropped a dagger in the courtroom when he said, uh, <laughs> he said he has never seen us uh, sixty-eight bill, seventy billion. And when he said, uh, we put seven, we put seventy billion dollars into an asset. Yeah, that that stings a little. <laughs> that stings, man. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um, yeah, you gotta come prepare in today's in today's court in today's court uh, 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 court law 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 court whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> gotta come prepared. I'm sure there was a lot of uh, judges and law professors that was watching this and seeing how this was gonna uh, pan uh, play out. You know, and um, yeah, I'm sure they learned a lot from this. So yeah, <clears throat> well, like they say in the Matrix, welcome to the real world. You know. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this was, this was, Microsoft, Microsoft has changed the game, you know, especially, especially, especially in the law field now, <laughs> yeah, especially in the, those who practice law, you know, yeah, they changed the game, man, it was like, you know what, instead of, instead of us sitting around waiting for the the uh, European Commission to make a decision, or the CMA, or the FTC. Let's give our ten-year contracts all over the place. Ten years, and we're ten years. E E. Ten years. Ubitus. Ten years. Boosteroid. Ten years. Nintendo. Ten years. Nvidia. Oh yeah. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> yep. And I think that's what. And I think that helped the. Uh, that helped the. Um, the European Commission in their decision too. They're like, oh. All right, you have grown, <laughs> you know. So yeah, you know, Microsoft knew that they couldn't keep Call of Duty to themselves. They knew, you know, because they they wouldn't go make any revenue. So it's like, okay, let's let's get more. Let's get more instead of instead of keeping Call of Duty on PlayStation. Let's get more wealth that this way. Ten years, ten years, ten years, ten years. It worked. Oh yeah. So a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of businesses are gonna look at this and be like, okay, all right, we got some ideas now. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, this courtroom now, I man, the, the rules have changed now. So it's all about preparation now, you know. Yeah, if you're if you're gonna take on a company like Microsoft, man, you best be prepared. <laughs> yeah, I mean the FD the FDC was trying to rely on like. Like old, old, you know, old principles, man. But you can't. Um, they should have never. If, if they should have done their research first before they like, you know, came to court. You know, that's what they should have done. You know, they were relying on past history. Nah, nah, I can't dwell off the past, man. Got to move forward. <laughs> anyway, latest video for y'all to enjoy. 
nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek fan. Bored, Darkseid. Go.